All right then, my friends. So in the last lesson, we used these Nuxt link components to create links in the page, and we put those inside a header. And that header is currently on the About page and also the Index page. Now, ideally, I'd want to place this on other pages as well if we created them in the future, and maybe the Products page. So what I'd have to do is copy this and paste it inside each of those components. And then whenever there's a change to the header, I'd have to go through each of those components and update the header, right? Now, that's probably not the best way of doing it because we're repeating the code and taking loads of time to update the code if we need to. So instead in Nuxt, we can create layouts where we just define the code once that's common to every page. And then if we want to update it, we only have to do it once. And that layout is going to wrap all of these different page components then. So how do we do this? How do we create layouts? Dead simple. In the root directory, create a folder and that's going to be called layouts. And then we can create different kinds of layouts. But if you want a default layout that's going to basically wrap every single page in your application, you can create that by making a file called defaults.view, like so. And all I want to do inside this is copy all of this template right here. So let me grab that and paste it in. I want to get rid of the home page content because we don't need that. We just basically want this header right here. And then after the header, this right here is where we want to output the page content, right? So how do we do that? Well, we use a component called slot. So I'm going to do a div tag first of all, and then inside that, I'm going to use a component called slot like so. And this is a built-in component that Nuxt gives us. And when it sees this inside the layout, it says, okay, well, this is where the page content is going to go. So that's it. Now, automatically Nuxt is going to look for this default layout and it's going to wrap all of our different page components. And those page components are going to be output right here where the slot component is. All right. So what I'm also going to do is just add a style to this down here. I'm going to paste it in. And all we're doing is styling those active links. Remember in the last lesson, I showed you when we had these Nuxt link components, when we're on that current page, it applies classes to them. To say that they're active. So we're styling one of those classes so it colors that link a little bit differently. So I'm going to save this now and then we can go back to the index component and we can get rid of the header from here because now it's inside the layout file. Save that and also go to the about component and get rid of it from here as well. So let's save this and preview now in a browser. All right then, so in a browser we can see we still get that navbar at the top. Awesome as we should do, everything's working the same way. And we can go between these different components. And also if we go to the products page, it should be showing on there because that layout component is now being applied to all pages in the site. Nuxt takes care of that for us. Now we don't need this thing right here, so I'll delete that in a second. But also I wanna show you how we can create custom layouts as well that we can apply to certain pages, for example, we might want the default layout for all of these pages like home and about or contact if we had one, but then we might want a different type of layout for the products page and also the products ID page. And by the way, if we go to that, so one, two, three, we should get that layout as well. So how do we create these custom layouts? Well, it's pretty simple to do. All we have to do is create a new file inside the layouts folder. So let's do that. And you can call this what you want. I'm calling it products.view because I want this to apply to all of the different product pages. Now it doesn't have to be called products if you want it to apply to the products pages. These names don't have to match the folder name and this layout name. It can be called ABC and I could still apply it to anything inside this products folder. Doesn't matter. But I'm just naming it products because it's obvious to me now that this is gonna be the layout file for all of the different product pages. Okay then, so inside here, I'm basically gonna to go to the other layout, copy that and paste it in. And I'm just going to change this a little bit. So up here, I want to, first of all, get rid of that anchor tag and also go to the default layout and get rid of that as well. We don't need that. So let's save it. And then I'm going to grab this UL right here and cut it. And then I'm going to paste that maybe at the bottom of the page. So let's do a footer down at the bottom. Then inside here, I'm going to output these Nuxt link components. So it's pretty simple. We're basically just splitting the template into two different parts. We have the header at the top, which has the title. And in fact, we'll say 
Nuxt Dojo merch because we're now on the products page. And if you click on this, it's just going to take us now to forward slash products and not back to the home page. And then down here, we have all of the old site links as well. So just a slightly different template. So now we have this product template right here, this product layout, but how do we then apply it to the different pages? How do we say, for example, that look, we want this index component inside the products folder to have that products layout? Well, what we can do is use a special composable function that Nuxt gives us inside the script called define page meta. And this function accepts as an argument an object. And there we can specify a layout property to specify which layout that we want to use. Now it's telling us we have default or products. So we just want to use the products layout. And now the products layout will be applied to this particular page. So I'm going to save that. I'm also going to copy this and go to the ID page over here and paste it here as well. So that for both of these pages, we're using the products layout. All right, so now on the home page, we can see the default layout. On the about page, we can see the default layout. If we go to products, it's going to change slightly and the links are going to go to the bottom. And we can see that. We get the title up here, Nuxt Dojo Merch, which goes to forward slash product. And also beneath the actual content, we get these links. So if I go to forward slash one, two, three, it should be the same layout as this page. Press enter and we can see again, we get the alternate layout where the title is at the top, then the content, then the links at the bottom. Awesome. So that's how we use layouts in Nuxt.